right. Hi everybody. It's Bree here. I'm going to do a video today. I am was just going to do a tarot card pull with one of my first decks and then I started getting, oh, if you want to call them downloads, nudges from my guys. Um, you know, I keep seeing a lot of people take advantage of fear right now. Um, and it brought me back to one of my first videos that I did on YouTube where it said that we need to not be afraid. We need to really try hard to not be afraid that everything's going to be okay. And that came from Sandalfin. Um, and so I was prompted and reminded of that today. You know, I keep seeing all this coronavirus. I'm um, in the reality of it. I'm going to be honest with you. About three weeks ago, I was at a store. Um, and they told me that UC Health next door, and I'll say that, had a couple of confirmed cases of coronavirus because the store owners were wearing masks. And I was like, hmm, should I be? And each time these things occur, I mean, that wasn't on the news. You know, I believe what I saw. I believe what I heard. Um, but it wasn't on the news. And the whole time I'm thinking those, excuse me, the a-holes, right? Like they don't tell anybody it's already been here in Colorado. But now you hear this lady in California has a case um, of unknown origin. I'm, I'm just tired of the stupidity. I'm tired of the vulnerability that's out there and people preying on it. You know, um, maybe they're vulnerable too. Maybe they're afraid too. So I got to be reminded of that. Maybe it's not that they're just trying to hurt people or deceive people or lie. Maybe they're trying to avoid mass panic, yet you see the CDC causing mass panic. So it's a little bit confusing. So what I'm doing is I try not to listen. Um, I try to be mindful of my kids because kids are the worst. Everywhere they go, they touch my daughter. She touches everything. She puts everything in her mouth, right? So that I'm trying to be mindful of. The one thing I will say is if you can avoid traveling right now, don't. Um, because, you know, sick people panic and run. You know, and it's not like they're telling people don't travel. But I'm going to say, don't panic. Don't be fearful. It's your time to go. It's your time to go, right? We're not going to be able to avoid all that. And I'm going to go back to what Sandalfin told me. Um, and I know this is crazy, but Goddess Athena has been poking at me, like literally poking at me and poking at me and telling me we're warriors. We're not, we're not weaklings. We hold a lot of power in our own hands. Um, I've been extremely tired and fatigued, and instead of ignoring it, I've been trying to let myself rest and then get to work as soon as I can and do what I need to do. Um, and so what I'm telling you is just do the best that you can do. Do not panic. Don't be afraid. Keep yourself healthy. You know, drink lots of water. Get rest. Stay hydrated. Because if you're dehydrated, if you worry, what does that do to your immune system? What does panic and worry do to your immune system? It tears it down. So please don't listen to the news. Turn it off. That's the thing I'm being told to tell you. And don't panic. Sandalfin, Athena, they're both with me telling you don't panic. It's going to be okay. Um, this is a sign that, you know, things are not what they should be. You know, when the world needs massive changes, things like this occur. And it goes right back to my other video of a warning. The changes are coming and don't be afraid. Okay, and this is just one of them. Um, you know, maybe some changes need to occur in China. I've never been there. Um, I just can't imagine, you know, people who live a healthy lifestyle are going to have mass outbreaks like this. It may. You never know. Um, just don't panic. That's the message. Stop listening to the news. The CDC, I'm watching them not inform people when there's actual cases diagnosed. I'm watching them allow people to travel. I mean, come on. Let's get a grip. We're not a very bright nation as a whole, and that's what's bothering me. Another thing that keeps nudging me and nudging me that I didn't talk about that some people know, because I've told them, they're in one of my groups, um, is the Gannon case. He is no longer with us. I guarantee you that. I put in a tip days after he went missing from what I saw. I asked my guides what happened to him, and I couldn't watch the visual. I literally just stopped 
visualizing what they were giving me and I bawled. I knew he was gone and I knew it was of the head. He was wearing a black beanie with two white stripes. Um, and I literally cried for like an hour. I couldn't watch. I knew she hurt him and I knew it was head injury was the main cause. Um, and I feel like, I don't feel like, I know he was with me for a little while. He was a scared little boy. He wasn't quite sure what happened to him. I did see his location, which is the tip I sent in, um, but I couldn't get a specific. What I saw, I think I saw from his eyes, and this is not even something I wanted to talk about. I'm just really tired of people exploiting. I'm tired of people using vulnerabilities and fear. Um, I hope they change laws because of that. Any child who goes missing, any child who goes missing, they should take it more seriously and act upon it immediately. And I don't care if you get tips from psychics, follow them. I think that's my biggest issue is I posted on the news the other day that I wish I could talk to his mom because I sent him a tip. I know it didn't have an exact location, but I know what I saw was pretty vivid. There was wastewater on one side and trash on the other, period. Where do you know it's like that? Please go find him. Um, no, he's not going to be right by his house, but I kept hearing he'll be easy to find if you look in the right spot. She didn't have time to bury him six feet under. I also know that he, he was hurting, you know, he, I walked him to God. I'm not kidding you. I had to help him cross over the light. Once I did that, it stopped bugging me. Like I felt like my job was done and the fact that they couldn't find him, I don't feel responsible for that. I did what I could do. I know it sounds crazy, and I see a lot of people doing tarot card readings on him and doing all these things. She did it. Y'all know who I'm talking about. She did it. It's what I saw before anything came out. It's what I saw before her little frantic videos. That's what I saw before. They even considered him endangered. Um, he was a little confused, but he's okay now. He's not suffering anymore, and if I could tell his mom that, I would. I hope they find him. I really do to bring him home for his parents. The other thing that's urging me a lot lately is the one who did it. I'm worried that as they get closer to finding him, she's going to take her own life. And that's what I keep saying. You know, if we can't stop that, we can't stop that. But I think that would be the true injustice. So I have spoken my truth on that, which is not something I wanted to do. I'd rather hide in the closet. And I've only told very few what I saw because sometimes I feel like, who's going to believe me? You know, I didn't use cards to see all that. I'm not preying on people's emotions. This is what I saw. Again, I know he was wearing a black beanie with two white stripes. I know he was hurting really badly. And that was before that video was even released by the neighbor. I couldn't watch exactly what she did. I just know it was of his head. I know because I bawled. It was, it was too much, and I knew he was gone. He passed, passed away. He didn't cross over yet because he hung out with me for a little bit, a little bit. Um, it was bugging me and bugging me and bugging me, and I asked a couple times, "Where are you?" And I think I was seeing it through his eyes. Um, and I know I'm talking about this a lot more than I ever thought I would, but apparently they want me to. I'm just I watch people you know, take advantage of these situations for their personal gain. And I don't, I don't like it. Um, my heart goes out for his mother and father. I'm truly sorry. And his little sister as well. I feel like she knows more than she needed to. I really do. Um, and that little girl is confused and I feel like she's also been scared. Um, but she doesn't quite understand. That's also the feeling I got because she's so young. However, Gannon's home. He is home. He's not hurting anymore. You know, and I keep hearing more and more about the stuff that his stepmom keeps saying. You know, he had a stomach ache, and then now I'm hearing a diarrhea. Head injury causes all that. So if you pay attention, she's kind of ousting herself. Pay attention. I'm hoping the cops get it because my tip went ignored. And when I posted on the news that I wish I could talk to his mom, they deleted it immediately. Somebody did copy it for me, so I do have that, um, and it was deleted very quickly. So that tells you something. They are ignoring certain tips because they're from psychics. If that were my child, I'd be pretty PO'd if they ignored anything. So, you know, that's my rant, and that's my rage. I'm going to move on now because it does upset me, but I know Gannon is home. He is with the Creator. He is where he's supposed to be now. 
He's safe. He's not in pain anymore. I am happy. I feel like she did drug him up because then he didn't suffer. And I hope they take solace in that. Um, anyhow, I'm going to move on now. I want to pull a couple cards for today. I know I'm changing from a very harsh subject to a lighter one. I'm going to pull from my Shape Shifting Tarot deck. Check this out. Ooh, I have a new camera too. You like it? And I kind of set up my little, my little area. For those of you who are asking too, I decided I would do something. I'm not sure you can read that though. It looks backwards. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I wonder how I'm going to fix that. Anyways. Oh, I've also got new decks coming. So I'm like totally excited about that one. Three different decks coming, but they were like on sale to Amazon. So I'm really excited and I will do some readings, some pulls for that. And as you can tell, I kind of don't really need cards, but they're so much fun, right? And everybody likes the visual. Athena's with me. She said, again, we're warriors. Be strong. There's a lot. I know there's a lot going on right now. And it's, unfortunately, it may get worse before it gets better. It goes back to my video I have on YouTube. So if you want to watch that, please do. Then the main message is don't be afraid. All the power for you is in you. We want a new world. And the only way to get there is to have things crumble and go to crap. Unfortunately, what's bad is going to fall. Or what hasn't been working is going to fall. And that way we can get to the good and we create can create what we want. So again, it's focus on what we want, not what you see. Don't focus on what you see going around you. Focus on what you want. I want the police around here to pay attention to everything. I want them to listen. I want them to act. Because if that were my child and I found out the police was ignoring any tips at all, I don't care what they were. If I found out they were ignoring tips, I'd be pretty pissed. Um, so... Anyways, there you go. I don't know why I even talked. I wasn't even going to talk about that. So thanks for listening to all of that. And feel free to watch all my videos on YouTube from Sandalfin because, you know, and in in when I first started channeling him and when he first came into my life, he gave a lot of information on what was to come, like not a whole bunch of specifics other than things were going to crumble, you know. I did see like the White House crumbling, the dollar bill, um, and which is strange is in that video I talked about the triangle with the, the eye, I think, or no, maybe it wasn't, but that's also one, been one of my symbols lately, so I don't know exactly what's to come, but it's definitely scary if you focus on it, right? So don't be afraid, protect yourself, be mindful, Keep your immune system high. Do that by getting lots of rest. If you're tired, please sleep. Please drink lots of water. Wash your hands. Stay out of public places if you can. Like, don't travel so much right now. That's the biggest thing, right? That's just the biggest thing. It doesn't mean seclude into your home. That doesn't mean go into doomsday preparations. That just means be mindful of your surroundings. Be mindful of what you're breathing and touching, taking in, especially the little ones. Because they're little Petri dishes. Um... You know, that's that's all we can do. And don't be afraid. Because if you live in fear, you cut your immune system down. So just keep it high. And pay attention to that medical medium guy. The one who talks about foods and stuff. He's amazing. What is his name? Please write it down in the comments right now. I can't think of it. Um, he does the... He's just the one who talks a lot about, you know, different foods that are good. And all that stuff. And he's, he's awesome. He knows what he's talking about. He really does. Because in a lot of my sessions... Some of the stuff that he says comes up um, about foods, some things that people need. There are some of the things that he touches on, so please pay attention just to how to take care of yourself. Okay, there, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for listening to that. It was supposed to be a silly little card pull. Um, had to do a few rants, apparently. I'm also going to be doing a couple YouTube videos later, but I'm waiting for my new webcam. Um, and I got this really cool thing for my videos, my meditation videos. Guys, check out my microphone. <gasps> Look at that thing. I'm so excited. So, you know, hopefully all these things I've been doing are just going to get better and better. And I can't wait. And check out my new course on meditating. It's super affordable. Very, very affordable. Um, and it's my first one. So be gentle, but I'd love feedback on it if you do decide to purchase it. All right. So today is, what's it, 28th? Yep, today is February 28th. Tomorrow is February 29th. 
Um, so I'm just going to do cards for those two days to end out our February and go into March. Let me pull that one out. All right. So again, shape, shift your deck. I haven't used this one in a while. I've been using my moon deck, but this was my original one that I bought when I was like gosh, 12 at the Celebration Store here in the Springs, and I didn't use it for years, like ever. I love it, and I got this bag to go with it back then. It's all velvety and pretty, and so they're like new still, um, but when I had my awakening, I really delve into these and got to know them well, and they're a lot of fun. So I can't wait to get to know even new ones coming because I've had a push to get new ones. But the Shapeshifter deck, I truly believe, is awesome. And what's funny is they came out before they had a website. So I'm not even sure they make them anymore. But if you want to look that up because you're interested in getting some, let's see if you can see the info on it. Look at that. There's no website. There's like a phone number and an address. So if you really want to know, just message in the comments and I can give you that info. <laughs> kind of gets into how old I am. Ooh, one just went flying out. So I'm going to take that one for today. I'm not going to look at it yet. The way it flew out, I'm taking that as a sign. And then we're going to pull tomorrow's for the collective. And I'm hearing again, keep in mind, don't be afraid. Fear creates lower immune system, creates all kinds of panic. Here's card number two. All right. So first card that flew out for today is the goddess of water for the water element. This one deals with emotions. Um, what a beautiful card too. Like, can you see it? Sorry. There you go focus. New camera on my phone. Um, when I get my webcam from my computer, it'll be better. Look at that card number 14, goddess of water. She was like with a beautiful swan on the water. What this is representing to me is that we need to get control of our emotions, which goes right along with um, what I've been talking. We all have choices. So I'm hearing we all have choices, choices, choices. And each one will affect your emotional state. Your emotional state affects your choices. Um, so are you going to be a goddess or are you going to be a victim? Are you going to be vulnerable or are you going to be strong and take your power? Are you going to be um, the one who decides to take a step back? Go into your heart space, I'm hearing. Um, get out of your head and then take actions on those. Believe what you need to believe, not everything you keep hearing. Um, because people take advantage of our emotions. They truly do. They play on our emotions. We create we create havoc with our own emotions, I'm hearing. And I just got some bumps. So, yep, definite, um, definite yes on that one. But there's beauty here. There's such a beauty and strength and naturalness to this state. So today, be in charge of your emotions, no matter what is going on around you, in front of you, beside you, behind you. You are in charge. You are your creator. Um, you are the one. Emotions and ego can allow you to be stumped. They could take over. And then what good is that going to do you? None. Um, I keep hearing beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. There is beauty in this day. There is beauty in the air if you're willing to take hold. If you're willing to love yourself, you're going to be just fine. You know, if you're willing to hang on to what's real inside you instead of what's going on outside, you can be your own goddess. The goddess of water. Another thing I'm hearing is no matter what's going on around you, there is power in the elements. Um, connect. Connect to the earth. Connect to water. Drink your water, please. Stay hydrated. That goes again with everything I've been saying. Yeah. If you're dehydrated, your emotions are running amok, what happens to your immune system? What happens to your manifesting abilities? You know, that's a good question. Can you manifest if you're stuck in your emotions? No, you, you really can't. Um, you need joy, gratitude. Those are, those are good ones to hold on to. 
you know, and I think that's what this also represents. Be in joy and gratitude and take your power, no matter what is happening around you. Understand? Am I clear? Am I clear? That's really good. And it, again, it goes right along with what I said. <sighs> Such beautiful. All right, so what was the card for tomorrow? Ooh, 12, the shapeshifter. Okay, so this one is really pretty. I like this card. And this one also represents major decisions to make. So, yep, some of you may have some major decisions coming, or you've just made them and you don't feel, like, confident in them, one of the two. And what I'm hearing is, please, 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 please get out of your head. Don't dwell. Go with your first instinct. There is a lot of knowledge around you. If you I know you can't see this card very well, but there's lots of, like, little hidden faces in there. Let's see if it comes up. I'm so blurry. Focus, focus, camera, focus. I'll have to fix my settings, but there's like these little hidden faces in here. There's magic. There's knowledge. There's peace. Do you choose to listen or do you choose to panic? Ooh, major chills on that one. So that's what this is representing. Do you choose to listen to your internal voice again? This is all about that. Um, or do you choose to be panicking? It's up to you. Oh, ooh, ooh. major chills. Because what I just heard is if, you know, you make the right choices, although none of them are wrong because we all have free will. It's all up to what you want. We're co-creators, right? Um, but certain choices will up-level. You can up-level your spiritual journey. So this is, an, I'm hearing an up-leveling. And I think somebody else said that too recently. And gosh, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, so yeah, this is a chance to really up-level your spiritual being, up-level your knowledge, up-level your downloads, up-level your connections, up-level who you are. Spiritually speaking, you're connecting to the oneness, God, whatever you want to call him. Just take your time, breathe in, connect to the earth again, again, look at these. Both water, both have water. And he's in a tree. I love it. I just said yesterday, I believe it was, but I really wish I could just lay on a tree right now and just breathe in. And I love water. So, you know, connect to the earth. If you feel there's a, a question, ooh, okay, major bumps again. So I got to say this. If you feel you have a question that you don't know how to answer, do you think reaching outside to people is going to help you or do you think calming your mind connecting to the earth going into your heart space and listening to your intuition is going to give you the best answer it's up to you i would definitely go with my intuition um, because most people are broken just like me right all of us have some kind of issue i mean granted i'm a psychic medium healer whatever i can give you tips but you already know the answers chances are if you just look within Right? Sometimes it takes a psychic and you're like, oh, I already knew that. Oh my gosh, that was what was staring me right in the face. So, oh man. Oh man. And, um, whew, more chills coming through on this message. I'm also hearing there's a lot of sorrow going around around. Like, I hear, oh, like cry, like people moaning. Um, and if you pay attention to the news, there's a lot of bad things going on. There's a lot of negative. So what do you choose to focus on? Self-care, self-love, intuition, getting out of the media, connecting to the earth. I can feel the earth is hurting. I can feel she needs love. So let's give her that. And let's give ourselves love. That way our immune system's high. Okay? That's the key to getting through all these things. And don't, please, please, please don't fall into victim for people preying on our emotions. Um, that's what's bothering me right now is I'm watching so many people got famous on YouTube because they're talking about Gannon. However, from what I saw, they're really just playing on people's emotions and it bothers me, you know, there's genuine suffering going there and people are really concerned. Um, and from what I can feel from that little boy, he was one of the most purest of hearts. <sighs> yep. Major goosebumps on that one. He was an extreme pure of heart. He was a people pleaser. 
oh man, and he misses his mommy so, and his daddy, but like I feel like he is just with her. He is with her and I see her crying a lot. Um, and I'm just tired of people playing on emotions. And with the Corona, I'm tired of people playing on emotions. Please do not allow them to play on yours. Be the goddess of your own emotions, by golly. Look at that. Take power of your rights and your emotions and your well-being. Make your decision from your internal being, not from panic and fear. Not from the chaos that's going on around you, which I think represents, I wish you could see these faces. Um, but there's magic in there. And this is a chance that if you really go within, you can up-level up level to a higher being that you are because right now it's in the air there is I've noticed who major goosebumps again so I'm just getting confirmations left and right I have noticed that I have been seeing things without even closing my eyes I haven't been connecting so much within meditation as of I just all of a sudden see them um, and that's kind of freaking me out a little bit but it's not um, you know it's okay. It's called up leveling. It's called there's so much more that we are capable of that we don't realize. Um, and I, I'm not one of those empaths that talk about where they get lost in all the collective emotions going on. I can see right through the muck. And I think what they're asking you to do is the same thing. Do you want to survive? Do you want to come out in this creating the world that we want to create? You must look through the muck. You must... Get out of that fear-based um, third-dimensional plane. Go into your heart space. That is key. And if you have a hard time meditating, by all means, do my course. It's literally very affordable. It's not much money at all, and it will help you. It helps me. I still utilize those tools that I put in there um, to this day. So please, if you're having problems, do that. It's on my website. I'll post that. Um, with the video but yeah I had a lot of fun and each time I do this I always get told to pull one more so I'm gonna pull one more for like I guess we'll do March 1st someday I don't know why they do that I have my heart set and then they're like nope that's not what we want we think you need to pull one more so I will March 1st I'm hearing it's more of a joyful so March 1st new beginnings I hear Newfound freedoms, hopefully, if you can get out of the fear-based realities that we're surrounded by right now. People are in a panic. They're afraid. And they can see the chaos around them, can't you? I can. If you watch the news, especially, it's like one thing after another after all these kids going missing by their own parents' demise or admissions. I mean, it's just, it's a crazy world we're in, but... The problem is we have to have a lot of crumbling before we can build a new. So what they're saying to do is focus on what you want, on the outcomes. Focus on the changes that you see needed. Like I'm for Gannon, I'm really hoping they change the laws. And every time I po post things about that, I get a little backlash. But then somebody's actually doing it now. So what do you want? Put your energy towards that. That's what we got to do. Put your energy, energy, sorry, towards what we want. That's, yep, major confirmations. Don't worry about the virus. Worry about what you're doing to prevent yourself from getting sick. Ooh, okay. Another one. Earth element. 11, the seeker of the earth. This goes right along everything that I have been saying. Please connect to the earth. They're asking you to connect to the earth. Please connect to the earth. This card also represents power and beauty, knowledge within the earth. The knowledge is there. Um, listen, ground. Listen to the earth. For those of you who are, there is profound knowledge coming your way. That's what I'm hearing. Check that out. This guy is just like a warrior, I'm hearing. Athena is telling me, warrior, warrior, warrior. <sighs> oh my gosh. When I feel like his cape is magic. That's what I'm... So there... <gasps> yep, major goosebumps. So magic within. We all have magic within. Um, but what are you going to do with it? Are you going to play with the evil? 
They don't play with the good, the beauty, the, uh, the calm, the peace, the serenity, what we can create, recreating the beauty of the earth. She's the one crying right now. Gaia is crying right now. That's why these things are going to start falling. Oh, again, number 11, seeker of the earth. There's a chance to up level. There's a chance to grow. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Do you want to grow? Do you want to grow? Connect within. Reach to your helpers, your guides. Not the collective. The collective's in a panic. You know, they're in a complete panic. And they may not be able to help you but other than play on fears like they're doing. But this one has a lot of, like the tree. You see the tree coming out of his head. Or his antlers or whatever you want to call it. He is one with the tree, one with the earth. Magic all around him. The beauty. The beauty and growth. That's, ooh, major bumps there too. So the beauty in growth. You can't have growth if you don't struggle a little bit, right? We can't have growth if changes don't occur. Holy moly, yeah. Ooh, major bumps on that one too. So these changes are inevitable and we aren't going to grow. We're not going to come completely out of this third dimensional plane unless we, I just heard go with the flow. Go with the flow. Not the collective flow, the internal flow, the flow of the earth, the flow. Oh, major, I'm sorry, I'm getting like major bumps. <laughs> yeah, go with the flow of the earth. This is beautiful. These messages are gorgeous. And I really hope they're helping somebody because they're sure helping me too. You know, for the last few days I was thinking, oh man, I haven't been connecting. I feel like I've been behind because I'm up leveling. It's weird. Like My surroundings are up leveling, but yet... I'm scared half to death because I still don't have permanent income um, and I'm starting this journey of working on my own, being my own boss, helping others and I have to trust that no matter what I'm going to be okay because I'm guided and I'm protected and so are you. So quit, yep, quit following the collective, don't be a part of the panic or the emotional play. Because people are playing on emotions. You have more strength and power than you can imagine. We are all life. We all grow. We all die. Um, but are you a part of the changes or are you part of the fear base? Who do you want to be? Is Number 11 also um, a portal. You know, all of these are representing 11, 12, and 14. I just realized that. Um, and they're all representing a chance to up level. A chance. So it's telling me maximum size reached in my video. So I'm going to go ahead and say on that note, I hope you all have a good one. I hope you got a lot of good information that was needed. And um, I'll post both videos together if I have to, just so I can have one that says goodbye. Um, and thank you for joining me. These were beautiful messages that I didn't expect, and they went right along with what I was talking about to begin with. Please don't let people play on your fear. Please be strong. Stay out of the news and imagine the world you want. That's the way to get through this. Don't be afraid. We're all warriors. What do you want to change? That's the question. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Love you. Lots of love. Thank you for watching.